So I got to talk about the fact that OKC swept New Orleans. And pff, I mean, I don't even waste a lot of time. Brandon Ingram never stepped up. CJ McCollum was half-hearted. And of course, you know about Zion. I wonder if the series would have been different if Zion had a play. Still, you can't take nothing away from OKC. Uh, Shea be balling. Chad's coming on nicely. I like their I like their core, their team. And I think they're going to be whoever comes out of the Dallas Clippers series. I do. I think they're going to West Coast Finals. I'm a firm believer that the New Day has arrived in the NBA, especially in the West, because the old guard is getting sat down. But see, New Orleans is like should have been, could have been. You know. And you got to kind of wonder. Now, you know about Memphis was the darlings a couple years ago, but they are not that anymore. And Ja better get back on the court because he's going to end up being a Cavs if he don't. Because the antics and injuries working against him. He can play, but you can't play if you can't stay. And Zion, if he don't eat himself out the league or don't get himself together, he got to stay consistent. Boy, you got too much talent to be eroding. And you got to do better than that. But I'm here to tell you, Fool around, act like he's going to stay 25 forever. That's why teams like OKC didn't emerge. That's why Minnesota's emerged. You don't know how fast the table turns. And before you know it, the Rockets are coming. So fool around if you may. You can get old real quick. I tell these cats, Blake Griffin is a cautionary tale. Or someone that you can really relate to, Derrick Rose. Don't get hurt. Don't get caught fooling around. It's shorter than you think. That merry-go-round don't go around for everybody, you see. Because, you see, for everybody who's had a Steph Curry run, LeBron run, Durant, Kawhi Leonard run, it comes and goes. So you better capitalize while you got a chance. But anyway, that was a one-sided series. But OKC is definitely well-coached. They're definitely on their way. Uh, good chemistry. And they're a fun team to watch, so... That was a lackluster series. I hate I even had to waste my time watching that mess, but they did what they supposed to do. You beat up a no accountable team who don't play all the way. That's what happens. I got to call it as I see it. And New Orleans is a waste. They should still be able to at least win one game with Brandon Ingram, CJ McCollum and, and their center. There's no excuses for that. None at all. Even as good as OKC is, that's half-hearted basketball. So you are what you are. Please like, subscribe, or thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind, clear, watch out for another shit if you like. I'm out. Peace.